Hey guys, I'm LB, and we're going to continue the Talismans World Tests with number 11, Deception. Cube swapping is always fun. Let's begin. Oh wow, that sounds really weird. So what happened was, I had a failed recording of this where my phone interrupted. And uh, so I had already sped up the game. Apparently if you exit the queue with the game still sped up, it still speeds up even in the menu. That's interesting. Alright, so as per... As per usual, we are going to be playing this at two times speed. I think when I, uh, I recommended this to Nock, and he's actually started playing it at two times speed as well. So that's, that's pretty interesting, because neither of us really likes walking around these big chambers. So, about this map, Deception is actually the name of one of the puzzles in the Talos Principle, so... We will see... how that gets to be. Is it possible to make this... well... I... I feel really stupid now, because no, you can't... You can't do that in Vanilla Petty, because, uh... These ore gates and stuff... Can't be done in Vanilla Petty anyway. I mean, Vanilla Puzzle... Puzzle Maker. Alright. So this is probably the cube we want to swap, right? Because we have to do the other cubes to access it, and we wouldn't want to do that. So we go in here, right? Take this cube. And we want to replace it, maybe. I have no idea. I'll just do it anyway, because... No harm in cube swapping. You can always recall both cubes. I think what we might want to do... So now that cube is the one we can recall it with this button. So we do this, right? Oh, and look at that! There's already a cube in here that makes things so much nicer. Now the question is, do we want to swap this cube and that one, or something else? There's a laser and more stuff in there. Let's- let's try pointing this at that. Come on. There we go. Let's see... Or this cube might be one that we would want to re recall. Oh, what is... What does this even do? Oh, it keeps this open! What opens? Now, if there's anything I remember about Deception... Wow, this is actually really accurate to the puzzle in the game! You go around, and this is something that you actually don't ever open, because, uh... Wow, so this is the blue laser, and this is the red laser. Wow, this is a really good recreation. That is clever, using different heights for different laser colors. That is amazing. Right away, have not even completed the puzzle yet. Right away. I'm gonna add this to my favorites. This is absolutely amazing. <laughs> that is cool, I really like that a lot. Yeah, so we're never gonna actually need to use this at all. This is the deception right here. Instead, what we want to do is take this laser out of here. If I could, uh, move slowly enough to do it. Alright. So now, oops. I think we should be able to do this, maybe. Maybe. Unless there's like a- another laser cube I'm missing. Oh yeah, let me readjust that guy first of all. Oh, 
Oh, that's a good point. We'll need to... Ah, uh, maybe we want to do it... Yeah, okay. Let me, let me take this cube off for a moment. And we'll do it like this. Oh, <laughs> oh, you're kidding me. That's what happens when you play at three times speed, and you run into a laser. Gotta do the whole puzzle again. At least we know what to do, though. What- what cube do we have to swap, though? That's the confusing thing. Come on, let me pick up the cube. I don't know if we have to swap these cubes yet, I'm not gonna do it. Oh, what? I still needed to get up there, duh. Oh, I missed it, I missed it. There we go. Got it on the second time around. But yeah, like I said, this is the... The, the high laser is, uh... It was also a high in the game, but in the game you can have lasers, you know, go at angles in the connectors. You, you have to play the Talos Principle to understand, but basically it's a really good, accurate rendition that I really enjoy. Alright, done that. At least playing at a higher speed doesn't increase the mouse sensitivity, that would be insane. Alright, so now... Like that. We'll take this slow. Don't want to fry myself again. There we go. Look at this. This laser is not underneath these platforms, it is right there. Just a rendering bug. Okay, we'll save here. Now... We wanna do... Ah yes, this'll work nicely, alright. Everything is fine. So I'm not sure which cubes we had to swap. Yeah, we didn't have to do any cube swapping at all. I mean, we just... Yeah, no, no cube swapping necessary, I'm not sure what that was talking about. Unless it's talking about getting that guy over there in order to take the laser cube and put it in its place or something. I don't know. I wouldn't consider that cube swapping though. Anyway, on to the next! We have a companion cube. And we have turrets that are too far away to shoot us. Oh, now they can't shoot us. Interesting. What's up here? Looks like a. Oh, no, there's a button. What's the button do? Permanent? Hey! I remember this! Let me check the description, because I forgot to do that, but I think I know which one this is. Featuring Companion Cube. I don't know, this reminds me of one of the early levels where... You take a jammer... Yeah... You take a jammer, you point it at the things, and you, you, you go past it, go up the stairs. It's one of the very first levels that you play. And, uh, you, then you 
use the switch to disable the turret, and you can take the jammer and, and bring it forward. Oh, interesting. Is there something else that activates these guys? What does this do? Oh. <laughs> uh, I should've known that. Okay, what's over here? Uh, interesting. I feel like I'm missing something. Oh, this button. Oh, there's a whole other area! Oh, the turrets are over there this time. Oh, but... Yeah, that's a problem. There's no way I can do that... right now. Is there something with this fizzle over here that I'm missing? So what is this? Oh, that... What did I... determine that this did? Right! Okay. I... okay, I should've figured that out already. You cannot recall a companion cube. Interesting. But, what we can do is there's no fizzler out here, so... Oh, that's... a problem. Oh no, this is off. Interesting. Oh, we can go out here now. Alright. done that, right? We are now officially... free-ish. Oh, and then we can fizzle the companion cube. Alright. Okay, so this is out now. This guy... fizzle. Oh, I trapped myself. Alright, gotta start over. Okay, so before fizzling the companion cube, we gotta go put this guy on the other button. Oh, but it's closed. Oh, I didn't even... Duh. That's, that probably explains a lot. Alright, now we have both cubes. Okay, so this button here is the one we want to use. Oh, come on! <laughs> that stupid bug! <laughs> this game... It just fizzles stuff whenever you don't want it to. Almost took that cube. <laughs> That's not the cube I need to take right now. We did not fizzle this guy. Uh, oh, stay on, please. Whatever. And now we also don't want to fizzle... ...companion cube. Hey, we did it. Alright. On to the next!
Hello, test up. And you know what? I forgot to add that to my uh favorite. So right after we view this one. Alright, so this one is better delayed doors. Have fun. Alright. Let's go back. And we'll add this one to favorites. Thank you. Alright. Eject Cave Johnson. <laughs> So... Oh. Interesting. I guess we're about to find out what that is. Oh, cool! You know, whenever I tried to do this exact thing once, what I ended up doing was just having it set to oscillate. And, uh... It gets out of sync really quickly, but I feel really stupid now, because really you can just activate it and then deactivate it. And not have it oscillate. That, that works so much better. Wow. Okay, so... Got more... buzzers. Ahoy. That is a mighty close button. Okay, what's in there? Another laser cube! As is to be expected. Question is... What are we supposed to do? Because there's... Oh, what is all this about? Interesting. Okay, what does this do, first of all? It stops this one. Why would I want to stop this one? No, really. Why? Oh, because I can't make enough of an angle to get to the other side? Is that why? Yeah, that's why, because you can only angle it from here. I feel like... I might be missing something. But... this is all that's in here... Unless I just need to synchronize them. not going as I want it to go. Yeah, that is... that's not... that's not how you do it. Oh ho ho! Oh ho ho! I feel really dumb. Alright, let's get this sorted. There we go. Oh gosh, don't kill me now. There we go. That's how you're supposed to do it. Okay. Okay, okay. Let's do this two times speed, because clearly three times speed is too much for me right now. Yeah, there you go. That's how you do it. That's how you skin a cat. What does this do? I should have expected that. Oh gosh, it goes on and on, doesn't it? But that's okay. We have a laser cube. Now we just want to aim at that. This is really well done, because this is exactly like Puzzles in the Talos principle. I really like this a lot. 
Alright, what's in here? Why do we want it? Interesting. So if I just take this off... Oh... Whoops. Somehow... Something is not... necessary anymore. Oh, this... Wait, no, no, that's... that's... This is still necessary, right? I mean, I guess not entirely, but... Okay, well, that works. I guess that is one way. Then we can just fizzle it. Oh wait, this keeps it open, alright. Right, right, that's what this cube is for. Come on. There we go. Now we can get out of here. Yep. Well guys, as always, thank you for watching. If you hate the sound of my voice, leave a dislike, it's up to you, and I will see you all in the next episode. Goodbye.